I hope you all are doing good. It's me, Sarang Ali Yusuf, and today we are having your eighth lecture of mathematics. We started unit two, that is linear graph and simultaneous linear equation. We studied about the gradient. We studied about the y-intercept, and we also discussed about the gradient of the horizontal and the vertical lines. Today, I am going to. explain you about the simultaneous equation and a method to solve the simultaneous equation here you can see that two equations that is 2x plus 3y is equal to 12 and x plus y equals to 5 both of them are simultaneous equation now you should understand that how can we recognize that the equation is a simultaneous or not What are the simultaneous equations? Here you can see that an equation is here x plus two equals to eight. If we have an equation like this with just one letter representing an unknown number, we can solve it. How can we solve it? What number does x stand for? You can see that x plus two equals to eight. If I'm going to shift this two to the right hand side, so it will become negative. It means x is equal to eight minus two, and x is equal to six. Here we have uh, another simultaneous equation. You can see that if we have two letters, there are a lot of possible solution. It means that x could be one, and y could be four, or x could be two, and y could be three. Means there are different possibilities. And how many other possibilities can you think of? In my mind, it's like it can be one plus. Four equals to five, or it can be zero plus five equals to five. Means different possibilities are there. Suppose we have two equation x plus y equals to five and two x plus three y is equal to twelve. We know that there are a lot of possible pairs of the values for x and y that fit the first equation. One of these pair of values also fits in the second equation. It means that If I am calculating the value of the x, so it, it can be put into equation one or equation two. Or if I am putting the value of the y, so I can put it in equation one or equation two. Means both of the values can be kept in any of the equation. Now, if x is equal to three and y is equal to two, then both of the equations are true. It means that if I am putting the value of the x three and y. Two in equation number one, so I'll get five. It means that left hand side will be equal to the right hand side. The same value I'm going to put in equation number two means two multiplied by x means two times three is six, and three multiplied by y means three times two is six. It means six plus six equal to twelve. Means if you are asked to solve the simultaneous equation, you are being asked to find out the value of the x and y that fit in both of the equations. There are two main methods for solving the simultaneous equation. The first method is by using the graphs, and the other method is by algebraic method. First of all, we are going to discuss about the solution of the simultaneous equation using graph. So here comes the solution of the simultaneous equation using the graph. There are just three very easy steps. First of all, you have to make a table of the values of each of the equation. Then you have to draw the two graphs. And you have to then write down the values of x and y where the graph cross. We can understand it more clearly by the graph that is given in the next slide. Here is an example. Equation is given y is equal to three minus x, x plus two y equals to four. In this way, you are just going to draw the table for the values. It means that if you are placing The value of the x is minus three, so three minus and then minus 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 plus means three plus three equals to six. Means the value of the y is six. In the next, you can put the value minus two, minus one, then zero, then one, then two, and then three. The same you are going to do with the next expression, that is x plus two y plus two four one by one. You just are going to place the value of the x, and then you will get the value of the y. After constructing the table. You are just going to draw the graph, and you can see that both of the lines are coinciding at a point. 
we can clearly see that the lines are crossing where x equals to 2 and y equals to 1 it means that the value of the x is 2 and the value of y is 1 means the point at which both of the lines are crossing each other that will be your x and y coordinate so in this way we are solving the simultaneous equation using the graphical method in this we are drawing the graph that's why it is known as the graphical method i hope that you all understand it very clearly that's all for today all of you stay safe stay home thank you so much